Hello, boys and girls, and uh, ladies and gentlemen, if I can just have your attention for a little bit. For those of you that still have pizza, go ahead and keep eating. And uh, for those of you who don't, well, we're going to try to get you on your, on your way because I know some of you did come from quite a far distance, so we sure appreciate you coming all the way to Spruce Grove to join us for this uh, fun team field day. Uh, my name is Randy Gregg. I think maybe some of you saw me uh, out on the ice. And I want to tell you a little bit about Fun Team before we get started. We have some presentations and then some awards. You know, about 25 years ago, some of us were playing uh, sports and, uh, and we really enjoyed it. In fact, some of us played at a fairly really high level and we realized that, you know, sports should be good for everybody, not just the people who can play in the CFL or the NHL or things like that. And so we decided to form a, a little group called Fun Team. And that was 26 years ago. And uh, in fact, Fun Team has grown, as you can see, we have a lot of members from all across Alberta, and we really like the concept. Uh, Fun Team really has about three or four concepts that I think are really important. And the first thing, of course, is fun. And uh, that's why we call the Fun Team. People don't uh, develop skills, they don't continue on in sport unless they have an enjoyable time. So we as parents and coaches have to make sure that when they go home, they're smiling. Uh, we can teach them lots of things in a positive way rather than a negative way. And hopefully, through Fun Team, we can have them play sport for as long as, uh, as they want to. The second thing is low cost. Now, we have an interesting fellow who runs a program here in uh, Stony Plain, and he still charges $20 a year. Now, luckily, he has outdoor ice. For some of you down from southern Alberta, central Alberta, outdoor ice isn't very much. But we really are, are adamant that Fun Team should be a low-cost event. It costs $50 to rent the gymnasium for basketball. We can also play outdoors at nothing. Because we know that although some of us may have enough money to be able to play indoor hockey or indoor basketball, we want to make sure that everyone has a chance to play. And I think we have such great Fun Team group leaders throughout the province, uh, they certainly keep that in mind all the time. The third is less competition. Well, we're all competitive. We all like to score a goal. We all like to put the ball in the hoop. And we all like to be faster. But that's not the key in life. The key is to start to develop self-confidence in our young people and self-esteem, feeling good about ourselves, about participating. So uh, again, our fun team group leaders do such a wonderful job in making sure that everybody goes home feeling good, not just the person who scored the goal or whatever. The third thing, and that's why I love to see so many older people here, is parental involvement. What a great way to show these young people how important sport is by getting out and doing it yourself. Now some of us are getting a little slower, so we can't do it quite as well. But the fact that your children are seeing you trying to participate and coming out is a wonderful, wonderful opportunity. And they will remember that a long time ago. I have to tell you there's a problem with that though. I said a long time ago that when my children get better at a particular sport than I, I'm going to quit that sport. Well, I'm putting a lot of sports these days. My, big, my guys are getting bigger and it's, it's hard on the ego, but I'll try to get through that. Anyway, we do have uh, some winners. We have some prizes uh, at the end, but also some awards we want to give out because uh, Fun Team is a group of dedicated volunteers who try to encourage people throughout Alberta to do what we and they think is best for our children. And we're so happy to have these people. We'd like to rec uh, recommend them and, and recognize them as well. But before we do that, I want to uh, recognize some people who come out day in and day out. There are board of directors, our volunteers, the people who give out pizza, the people who give out the jerseys. Always a friendly smile. They're great role models for Fun Team. And if you don't mind, if we could give a round of applause to the volunteers for Fun Team as well. You might imagine over 25 years, we've had a lot of people running Fun Team. And uh, the board of directors of anything doesn't run. We have individuals who answer your phone calls, who are there to make the t-shirts, make the, uh, uh, the jerseys and so forth. And we are so lucky, we've been so fortunate over the last two or three years to have, I think, probably our best executive director, the leader who put all this together. Uh, and again, I'd like to uh, recognize uh, April Hines for the great job she did. Well, I don't like all-star awards, because all-star awards mean that somebody's better than the other. And when I was out there on the ice, I thought every single one of those kids was just as good as the other, as long as they tried hard and had a smile on their face. 
And so sure, we have lots of all-stars here, but we do want to recognize some individuals who've kind of gone over and above their line of duty. Uh, the first, uh, and these are called the Sport Check Outstanding Participant Awards. I like to call them up and I just want to read a little bit about it because, you know, when, when we, my wife and I had young children, we had just hoped that they'd grow into really fine young people and great citizens. And uh, fortunately, we'd be very lucky that they'd done that. And I'm sure all of you parents would just as soon have great young people as they grow up, whether they're NHL hockey stars or NBA uh, basketball players, it doesn't really matter. It's, it's a quality of person. So listen to some of the things that are going on in our communities through Fun Team. The first uh, recipient of the Sport Check Outstanding Participant Award is Sean Robinson from Drumheller. Sean, if you can come up for a second. Sean is 16 years old. He's been a Drumheller Fun Team participant for seven years. So he started when he was nine as a player, and now he's a coach at 16. As a player, he showed great sportsmanship, respect for others. He won an award for sportsmanship on two different occasions, as well as skill. He won an award for most approved player. As a coach, he's shown dedication and caring for his rookie program team. Once again, a prime example of a young person, and probably a future community leader, giving back to the community that nurtured him. So this is the success story, all the time and effort that people like Nikki Saria has put in, and all of a sudden we get these great young people who are going to be future leaders. Sean, congratulations. job and you know what in 20 years I'm sure we'll look back and see Sean as one of the leaders uh, in his community doing some great things for the kids uh, that's where we're, uh, that's the success story we're looking for secondly we have another recipient normally every year we give out uh, one award but these two gentlemen were, uh, were so great we decided to have two awards this year Tyler Burley from Sudbury Hockey come on up Tyler Tyler is also 16 team participant in Sun, uh, Sudbury Rec Hockey Team for eight years. He's always enjoyed playing. He's been a solid role model for other players by his contact, uh, conduct on the ice, displaying respect and clean play. As a result, he's gained the respect of coaches and peers. He's now involved as a volunteer coach with a group of four to six years old. Keep in mind, 16-year-old young man turning around and volunteering for four and six-year-olds, an experience he thoroughly enjoys. Another great example of an indication that the future of the community is in good hands. Father, congratulations. John Salisbury from Sylvan Lake Hockey. John, if you could come up. The Sylvan Lake Fun Team Hockey Group is grown by leaps and bounds in large measure due to the influence of John Salisbury. His commitment to the principles of Fun Team with the emphasis on fun and the building of self-esteem and all those in his charge has made for a program which is attracting ever-increasing numbers of participants. John has gone the extra mile to make sure that everyone feels welcome 
as a valued part of the Fun Team program. Through his influence, the children in the program are learning real life skills, commitment, responsibility, leadership, and respect for the feelings of others, as this is what he models and what he expects from those in the program. John has gained the respect and admiration of the community of Sylvan Lake for his tireless efforts to ensure that everyone who wants to play can play, have fun in a safe and supporting environment. John, great job. You're a great leader in the community. Congratulations. So when I was six years old, all I wanted to do was play. And probably all these six-year-olds say, why didn't that guy just get off the microphone and let me play a game? And that's exactly why we're here. We do have, though, you remember, and, and this is kind of an interesting thing. Years ago, we started Fun Team and we knew that hockey was a big sport. But we also realized that soccer is a great sport, baseball is a great sport, and all those other things. Zumba looks like a great activity, although I wasn't able to participate. I know I saw some red faces there, so it's a great activity as well. A challenge to some of you in your communities, that if Fun Team Hockey is such a great opportunity to do all the things you want in your children, go in April, talk to me, talk to some of the board members, because Fun Team Baseball is just as much fun. It costs nothing other than a facility, an outdoor uh, diamond, or just a piece of grass. When my children were four or five years old, I had 120 kids playing fun team baseball. One of them is on our board over there, Dustin Reshke. Dustin's now an accountant, and he plays senior baseball. He's played with me for the last 20 years. So hockey is a great sport, but there are many opportunities to grow your fun team organization into summer sports and other activities. So feel comfortable. We can help you with that. We've got some experts in different uh, areas of sport, and uh, the self-esteem and all the fun that your kids have in hockey they can have in other sports as well. So uh, a challenge to all of you if you like that. Anyway, one of the challenges you notice was for the people who didn't get a chance to go on the ice was the shootout, the fun team shootout. And everyone who got it in, uh, the net, got their name put into a draw. We have three prizes, and the prizes are sport check gift certificates. Third prize is $25, $10. Second prize is $25, and third prize is $50. That's why April is such a good organizer. So we're gonna pick the third prize, and if you are still here, come up. It might be you, but you never know. We'll just keep our fingers crossed. Uh, come on up, and I think we should have a rule that if they're not here, we have to pick a game. What do you think? That's a good rule. So, third prize, $10 gift certificate. It must have been a great shot. Tierra Stoney. Is Tierra here? Oh, Tierra from Stony Plain. Tierra from Stony Plain. Tierra. You see Tierra? Is that Tierra? All right, good job. It must have been a slap shot, Tierra. Wow. Here, good job. Uh, second prize, and that's uh, $25 for Sport Check. A game from Stony Plain. Carlin. Is Carlin here? We're looking. Oh, there's Carlin. Come on up. Another great shooter. Okay, and finally, $50 gift, $50 gift certificate for Sport Check. 
my gosh. <laughs> and from Verkubar. So everybody knows where that is. Beautiful little community real close to here. And it looks like another youngster, Anissa. Anissa here from Verkubar. Oh, great stuff. for coming. You're welcome to stay as long as you want. Kids, you can play all you want. Uh, and we've got about 15 more minutes. Next year, hopefully, we, uh, we will do this again. And maybe we'll do it a little bit closer to Central Alberta so the folks from Southern Alberta will get a little bit of a break. And hopefully all of us from the Edmonton area can travel down to have a little bit of fun with hockey. Uh, again, if you have any questions about fun team, feel free to call the, uh, the office and we'll try to help you all we can. Have a good day. Thanks for coming.